Hello Taurus and welcome to your November 2021 horoscope. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your tarot and astrology reading for November 2021. This will resonate more if you are a Taurus rising, but you may find some messages relate if you're a Taurus sun or moon. So make sure to check out your other readings as well for your other signs. So Taurus, November is a fucking month, okay? I've been saying this. <laughs> I've been saying this, but November is a crazy, crazy time, and it's even crazier for the fixed signs, okay? Especially if you have a rising and a fixed sign. For rising sign is a fixed sign, um, which includes me, by the way. So, um, yeah, November is a crazy time, and it's really crazy for you because you're involved in the shit show that's happening in November. Uranus in your sign is going to be getting opposed by all of this stuff in Scorpio, your opposite sign. Scorpio for you is about your relationships, other people, anybody outside of you, right? Like your one-on-one -on -one connections with other people. It can be a business partner, a, a marriage, a romantic partner. Um, it can be an opponent. It can be just any one-on-one -on -one connections that you have with other people. So your relationship dynamics and other people in your life are kind of going to be at the forefront and a really big focus in your life this month. So there could be something going on with the people in your life. There could be some kind of major changes or a lot of intensity there. Uh, you know, and a lot of this stuff in Scorpio is squaring Saturn in your career sector, your reputation, your legacy, authority figures, what you want to leave behind your future, what you want to build your goals, where you want to go in life. And so there could be a lot of tension kind of being brought up here between those two areas with other people in relationships versus your future where you want to go etc and so this is a month where you could feel like <laughs> kind of like Aquarius where it kind of feels like everybody has like lost their minds you could be be trying to be very discerning and responsible when it comes to your career your professional life your future your reputation all of that but there could be something going on in the relationship that is kind of testing that in some way or your partner could be testing that in some way or someone in your life could be testing that in some way um, and this would be someone you have kind of a connection with or you know it's not just like a random person it would be somebody that you know somebody that's in your life and so it could really feel like a lot of things are being dug up in regards to relationship you know scorpio is kind of like a sign of secrets it is kind of a sign of bringing things to the surface and it could feel almost like this month that you are a one-man circus right uh or a one ring circus sorry is what it says but um so it could kind of feel like you know like you're like there's just a lot of unpredictability a lot going on and you're not really sure how to deal with it and things could feel kind of like they're building for some of you until this month with all the oppositions to Uranus it could feel like you need to break free of something this month for you Taurus is about breakthroughs it is about breaking free it is about liberating yourself it is about freedom it is about independence and so you could feel uh, a major need to claim independence over something um, or to like somehow free yourself of a situation that may have been keeping you stuck or trapped or feeling like you are in the middle of something. And so that's kind of the, the, the big thing for you this month, Taurus. It could really feel like a lot of things are coming up from the past or maybe you're holding on to something that's no longer there with ghost lands here. It's like, why are you stuck on something that's not even in reality anymore? That's not even your reality anymore. That's not happening. It could also have been feeling like maybe you are feeling a little bit stagnant or you are feeling like a little bit um, on your own with something once again or feeling like you've been kind of lacking or dry there's been like a dryness a dry patch lately where it's like there's not been maybe a lot of movement in your life for some reason or another and also with this we have cleaning house and so this could also be a time where it's like okay it's time to make some changes it's time to purge it's time to get rid of some shit it's time to clear some shit out you know what i mean like it's time to uh really get down to the bottom of things and organize some stuff and or reorganize some stuff get rid of some shit purge something right we also have wishing well here and so i feel like this is really in regards to your 10th house 
and being able to figure out what it is that you want for your future and if the relationships in your life are that or if something in your career or professional life or in the world like in general is too demanding of you um, and it is not giving you space or freedom within your life, within your connections with other people. And so these are some ways that it could be playing out, but either way, you're going to be feeling some kind of push pull or tension between yourself, your own life, your own, auto your own autonomy, your own liberation and freedom and independence versus relationships and other people versus your career, your professional life, your future, where you want to go, what you're doing, where you're going. And so this is a major, major time for you, Taurus, where you could really be making some really big changes, but also breaking free of some situations or going through some major breakthroughs. This is a month for you, Taurus, that you're really going to really feel like, you know what, I'm fed up, I'm not doing this anymore. I am setting myself free. I'm setting myself loose, right? And it's likely something that you've already been pondering or considering or, or that you've thought about before in some way, shape, or form. It's something that's kind of been building, you know? And we also have the card follow the leader. And so I feel like this month, Taurus, you're going to be in a position where you kind of need to take the lead in a situation where you're kind of like, okay, like this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. This is how we're doing it. You know, it's like you're, you're kind of needing to step up and it could be because of those past experiences, because of those past cycles, because of the things that you've been through, you know, and you know, Uranus and your sign for the past couple years has really been teaching you how to be more in alignment with who you are, how to be more authentic, how to do things that are more in alignment with you and who you really are. You know what I mean? It's been really shaking up your idea of yourself and shaking you up in a lot of ways where you became a little more eccentric and more authentic and more in alignment with yourself and more in alignment with your truth. What it is that you actually want to do, it's got you out of your comfort zone in some way. Now we also have magical map shifter. And so this could be a time where you're also kind of somehow changing your direction or your environment in some way. That's usually what that what that card uh, brings or not brings, um, but means. <laughs> so you could see that in some way. I also see here, Taurus, so we have like the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Um, and so I see here, Taurus, that, you know, there definitely could be or could have been something going on recently with like health or health issue or illness or something like that. Or it could have been something, someone close to you. But this makes sense because with all that stuff happening in Libra, that was in your sixth and so it could have brought up some stuff with health or for some of you this could also be some kind of desire that you have that you've been wanting to fulfill but maybe haven't been able to and then we have the page of swords so i feel like this month you're getting more information on this you're getting more information on what it is that you want and how you can move forward we have a lot here kind of hinting towards a certain amount of worry or fear regarding change in some way or regarding speaking up in some way and i think that's going to dissipate by like mid month to end month because of that of those oppositions to uranus and your sign so i think by mid to end month uh there will definitely be a need to kind of say what you need to say and do what you need to do uh because we have this knight of swords here and so it's kind of like where do you need to charge ahead with your truth where do you need to say certain things that need to be said and for some of you um it could also be that maybe somebody else in your life has something to say or tells you something that may be a little bit unexpected or maybe your reaction to it is a little bit unexpected with uranus in your sign i also see here like you are really wanting to possibly speak up in terms of work or your public image or you know something like that it's like you're really wanting to get how you feel or get your truth out there in some way 
but maybe there's like a certain worry that it's going to affect your stability in some way. But I do see here with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles that if you do it the right way, if you do it in a responsible uh, manner, that there will be success. Um, with that Six of Wands, I feel like you are kind of overcoming a certain uh, material issue, whether financial, job related, uh, or something related to possessions in some way. It seems like you're overcoming some kind of issue there. We also have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So it seems to me that you're also that you're also like like i said i feel like whatever this is that you're worried about speaking up about or saying something like for some of you it could be like you're thinking about changing jobs or you're exploring new options or maybe you have a new opportunity but you're scared to take it or maybe you're thinking about finally saying something to a boss or something like it seems like it's going to be fine uh from what i see here in your cards now this is a general reading for Taurus rising, so it would, you know, there may be some people that it's a little bit different, but whatever happens is going to liberate you, even if it seems unexpected. So even if something happens that's like, oh, like this didn't go exactly the way that I had thought it did, unexpectedly, it's actually going to liberate you in some way. It's actually going to bring you closer to something more authentic. And I feel like you kind of are used to that by now with your honest and your sign, but yeah, so I feel like you're exploring you're exploring what it is that is actually important to you, what it is that actually has value to you, and what it is that really aligns with who you are. Uh, and so I that's kind of what I'm seeing here in your cards. So for some of you, it could feel for so, some of you guys could be dealing with some kind of um, some kind of injustice going on, whether in career or um, maybe it's just something that you're focused on in some way or in your life in some way, because we have the Seven of Swords and the Justice card, which are two cards that usually point to some kind of injustice going on, uh, something kind of going on behind the scenes or something kind of manipulative, shady, etc. And so there could be something going on with that. Once again, though, I feel like with this Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, um, it seems like you're, you're kind of working through something. You're trying to solve this in some way. And I really feel like it likely has to do with your job or for some of you, another person that you're close to in your life. But for most of you, I feel like it has to do with your job. And with this Seven of Pentacles here and this Four of Swords, it kind of feels like almost futile to be involved in this situation. Um, I'm not sure if you have like a choice, like if it's your job or not, but there's definitely something here where it's like, I need to like, you're kind of like over it basically. It's like, I'm sick of putting my energy into this, um, which I understand completely, like who would want to put their energy into that. It can feel like you don't have a say so or an upper hand. But it also feels like emotionally this is showing you once again what is more of value to you, right? Like if you feel like there is something going on that it does not align with your values, um, you are not forced to put up with it, right? That's all in your head. And so it's like, do you want to keep doing the work? Do you want to keep investing in something that is really just stressing you out um, and that you feel is unfair, right? And so for some of you, if you have, a, if you can remove yourself from this situation, then I don't see why you wouldn't. But um, for others of you with this Eight of Cups here and the Empress, it's kind of like there are other things that are more of like that are more valuable that contain more quality with the Empress here. It's like, you know, the Eight of Cups is walking away from something walking away from certain emotional attachments right and the empress is really taking care of yourself self-care value um mat the material world material things and so i feel like this is kind of your answer here it's like if it's not really like fulfilling you in that way then this could be a month that makes that very very clear 
okay? And this could be the truth or the realization, the revelation that you have that it's like, okay, I think I would probably do better elsewhere or I would probably succeed better elsewhere or you may get an opportunity. For some of you, there may be an opportunity to do so. Let me get like one or two more cards. There we go. The High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. Are you gonna stay true to yourself? Because that's really what the cards are leaning towards here. Are you going to stay true to yourself even when the outcome is unknown? And that's really what this month is about. You know, it's like making choices even when the outcome is unpredictable, right? It's showing us where certain things in our lives are unpredictable or where we've gotten into certain situations that we don't have control of but still need to change in some way, still need to do something about. So anyways, Taurus, that's what I'm getting here for you with your cards. So astrologically speaking, we have this new moon in Scorpio on the 4th. I'm not sure if you'll see this video by then or not, because I am doing the video separately this month, which means I can only upload three at a time or else YouTube won't notify you. Uh, so basically, with the new moon in Scorpio, this is going to be opposite Uranus in your sign. So you're probably going to be really feeling this new moon. It may even somewhat feel like a full moon for you, but it's going to be some kind of new development or new beginning regarding you and someone else in your life or other people in your life, certain relationship dynamics, certain things that need to be let go of or um, that need to be flushed out in order for you to be set free, right? So it's like bringing up certain attachments or certain things that have been underlying that are coming up in order for you to free yourself from. So that's going on in the fourth. And then on top of that, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks, we have a lot of squares to Saturn. We have Mars square Saturn, then Mercury and Mars square Saturn. And so there could be a lot of heated conversation with your partner or with other people in your life, but feeling like there may be some limitations or restrictions because of career or future goals or whatever the case may be, authority figures. Um, but this is going to be, these first couple weeks are somewhat disrupting but also kind of intense and kind of like this push-pull restlessness energy that can really come in but once we get towards like mid-month um, and we start going through the Uranus oppositions that's when it's going to be time where it's like you know it's time to break free of certain things. It's time to liberate yourself of certain things. That's when the breakthroughs are going to come. There could be a certain level of intensity there as well or unpredictability or whatever, but overcoming obstacles may be a little bit easier. You do want to watch out though for impulsiveness, Taurus, um, for making split decisions without even thinking about it, you know what I mean? Some people may need to, you know what I mean? That may be in the cards for them. And so I'm not necessarily telling you not to. Um, I'm just saying that that's something that we could definitely see come up. And then we have that lunar eclipse on the 19th in your sign Taurus, which is going to be a really big deal and a massive time of kind of like reflecting on who you are and possibly letting go of an old version of yourself in some way or liberating uh, yourself from something old, something that no longer aligns with you. So anyways, that is what I'm seeing for you guys, Taurus, for the month of November. Definitely let me know down below if this ends up resonating and uh, feel free to come back throughout the month and let me know. I'd really love to know how this ends up resonating. And even if it doesn't end up resonating, I'd love to know what you did experience this month, especially if you're a Taurus rising um, and how it may have related to the astrology. So anyways, I will see you guys in my other videos. Thank you so, so much for watching.